Good afternoon, George. Let me introduce my investment consultant, Lily. Hello, Lily. Hi, George. You good to meet you. Thank you. It's good to meet you, Lily. George, thanks for coming by. Do you want some water? No, I'm fine. I'm fine. So, what's going on in the world of investments? Always dynamic and exciting. I'm actually looking forward to share with you some opportunities in the market. With our key customers, I work with Lily closely. Thanks, Joanne. George, I'd like to thank you for giving us the opportunity to work with you uh, on reviewing your investment portfolio. I look forward to exchanging some new ideas with you. Always a pleasure to meet experts. Since Lily spent a lot of time with financial analysts on a day-to-day -day basis, she will provide you with more in-depth um, research on opportunities. This way, it can help you to make a better investment decision. So, George, how is your business? Well, our consumers' products business is very sensitive to economic cycles, mm -hmm. as you know. And um, at the same time, the export business has been steady, even when the economy was slowing down. Mm. So that's given us a very good balance. That's great news. Mm. I actually purchased some of your vitamins, the senior vitamins for my family. Really? How yeah. do you like them? Both of my parents are taking it and they love it. I was reading the list of the products in the vitamins mm. and it's really comprehensive. Well, it's actually one of our best selling products. The formulation is designed by this well-known nutritionist in the United States and widely circulated there as well. Where did you get it? Just down at the pharmacy here. Ah, oh, yes. That's the one with the attractive display, isn't it? I think I've seen your commercial on TV. It's the one with the three kids running around, right? Yes, that TV commercial. That's for our kids' line of vitamins. Do you like the commercial? Well, I think it works. I mean, there are three happy kids playing and running around at the playground. <laughs> I think the message is really to lead a healthy and active lifestyle. That's exactly what I wanted. Just a quick check. How much time do we have today? I have a little bit of time. How about uh, 30 minutes? The main purpose of today's meeting is to review a few investment ideas and see what would be the best options. Well, it would be good to see the available choices, yes. Great. First, thanks for emailing me the names of the funds. And can I suggest that uh, we recap your current situation and then share with you some relevant research and finally, we can go through the options. Mm. Sounds good to me. Here's my understanding of your financial situation. Mm. You have two mutual funds that were purchased around five years ago. One is the Pinnacle India Funds. Your initial investment is $50,000 and it's now worth 80000 Mm. The other fund you purchase is Quantum China Fund, mm. where you invested 50000 Also, the value of this fund is now at 50000 Is it? Well, I thought it was still negative on that fund. Well, your fund has recently picked up nicely, and so actually, the value of the fund, as of yesterday's closing, is now $50,000. Great, great. So I made even. You also have about US 200,000 in technology stocks with around US 100K in research in motion and about US 50K in Microsoft and another 50K in Google. Correct. So what do you think I should do with them? Well, we have some outlooks on the technology sector and specifically in these three companies that I would love to share. Just a final recap, you're now considering upgrading your residence. Your current home value is at 950 thousand sing dollars and your outstanding mortgages at four hundred and thirty thousand this means you have about five hundred and twenty thousand in equities in your home if you are wondering you should sell your mutual funds and use these funds to pay for your down payment so far is my understanding right perfect and thank you for the referral to the Pacific Heights condo open house last weekend my wife and I went to have a look and we think there are great possibilities yes I also been there and I like it well, um, George, is your range for buying a new place around two million still? Ah, uh, yes, I think that's more realistic. We've been looking around the one point five mil range, and um, realized there wasn't anything we like. So I think two mil will give us more options. You also mentioned in the last meeting that you have some cash around four hundred and fifty thousand, and you are wondering if it would be better to keep the funds or to use it as a down payment for your new home, right? Yeah. I want to ensure I make the most of the money. What do you have in mind? Lily, did you bring the report that we share in the office? Yes. Here's my bank's views on the China market. In summary, we feel that there are still growth opportunities in the next 12 to 24 months. And um, the three main reasons are we feel that the domestic market in China will continue to feel economic growth, and this is the world's largest domestic market. Further, the China stock indexes took a heavy hit two years ago. 
uh, from its peak and the stock prices are still well below their peaks so there's still some good buys in the marketplace mm. finally although the strengthening of the chinese yuan may hurt its export sector we feel that the stronger yuan may actually fail domestic consumption um, particularly in the areas of technology and consumer electronics so should i hold or sell my china fund since you do not have an immediate need to liquidate, and by looking at the quantum fund, we see that the quantum fund allocates about 30% of the fund in technology and the consumer electronic companies in China. Perhaps you may want to hold the funds. Mm -hmm. Just by looking at the past two weeks, the fund has done really nicely and recover about 7%. What do you think, George? Well, it seems to make sense to me. What about the India fund? Good question. I've got here a general report on India's economic uh, indicators. It's true and India has done very well in the past few years. Because of this, in the past few months, the government has started putting in some cooling measures such as raising interest rates, for example. I've also spoken to some of my colleagues who are familiar with India funds and stocks and a lot of their customers are now selling and taking profit from their investments. I noted that your fund has grown 60% over a five-year period. How would you feel about taking profits now and then considering some other interesting opportunities that the market has to offer? Well, the India fund has been performing better than I expected. And if the India economy slows down, well, we'll sell it. So what other opportunities do you recommend? Well, George, i got two options for you. One is to take advantage of the upswing of the economy. The other is to start building a good solid foundation, such as um, retirements. Hmm. One of our options is to consider one of our funds that focus on Singapore. As you know, last year, Singapore economy was one of the best in Asia. And we see this to continue for at least the next 24 months. How do you feel if you can ride on this growth? Excellent. So, what's the second suggestion? Well, I like to help my customers to plan ahead. We have a few funds that are very well diversified across many industry sectors and regions. This means that the funds are able to take advantage of many opportunities around the world, but without having much risk as compared to a fund that is strictly focused on one particular country. Customers who want to start planning for their retirements should consider such funds. May I ask what plans have you made for retirements? Retirement? Oh, that's a long time away. Another 20 years? My wife's father left a condominium for us, fully, fully paid for, and um, it's supposed to fund for retirement. At the moment, it's being rented out. Great. So, which option would you prefer then? Well, what about selling the India stock and um, use the extra cash as down payment for a new property? Well, perhaps this is a good time to discuss the technology shares. Lily, what are your thoughts on that? George, just a quick one so I understand a bit better. When did you buy these shares? Oh, I accumulated them over a period of uh, three to four years. And how do you feel they've performed? I like the shares. Microsoft has underperformed, I think. What do you think? Well, first of all, I'd like to compliment your choices. These are good companies and have done well in the past. Perhaps we can look at these opportunities from uh, these companies from two perspectives. Yeah. From the current, uh, current value perspective and then also from the business strategy and marketplace. With Microsoft, the bank feels that this is a solid company, but growth is slower as its marketplace is getting saturated. Although Microsoft has been aggr aggressively acquiring new companies um, to grow in the past few years, they are slowing down. Currently, the shares are priced at $28, which is very close to their 12 months high of $31. And Microsoft is perhaps a good blue chip company, which is worth investing in over a longer term period. Google, on the other hand, has been a darling company in the technology space for more than 10 years now, but is also a very volatile stock. Currently, Google is trading at an all-time high of um, $639. And just six months ago, the share prices was $436. Mm. We feel that there may be some better opportunities out there at this moment, and Google may be worth revisiting when the valuations are lower. And some analysts are also beginning to question Google's latest applications in terms of what the commercial business models to generate revenues are, in addition to its main source of income right now, which is advertising revenues. So our bank's position at this moment is a wait-and-see approach. Wow, that's some great insights. Where did you get your information, Lily? We have a dedicated analyst team specializing in different industry sectors, and technology is one of them. We also have economists that help uh, identify macro and micro trends, that's economic trends, um, in different markets around the world. Yes, this is our job really, to tap on the world of experts and channel useful knowledge to help you make better investment decisions.
Okay, now what about um, Research in Motion? This company, Research in Motion, is what we really like. In fact, a few weeks ago, we launched a product that specifically focuses on their shares. The shares are currently trading at 15% um, below its 12-month high of uh, $76, and they're also expanding aggressively in Asia, which is, as we know, the fastest growing and world's largest market. So what do you think? Do I hold on to the shares? Good question. More importantly, what are your plans? I mean, what do you intend to do with the money you have with these shares? No particular plans, really. I just want you to take advantage of all these good market opportunities. Well, in that case, Lily, what are your thoughts? Well, given that these three shares are opportunistic investments, perhaps you can reconsider um, balancing your technology portfolio. What are your thoughts about Google, George? Well, I agree with you, what you mentioned earlier on. I think Google may be losing steam. So, yeah, perhaps we'll sell it. After all, I bought it for 400 US. It may be a good idea to take profits then. George, apart from technology shares, are you open to other sectors? Absolutely open. What do you have in mind? Currently, we like the natural resources sector. There has been a lot of activity going on in this sector throughout Asia, including China, Indonesia and Thailand. Mm. We believe some of the mergers and acquisitions are ultimately going to turn out to be stronger businesses that will dominate the market. This consolidation in the industry, combined with a continual increase in demand from markets such as China and India, we feel there are some exciting opportunities. Great! So why don't you come back to me with some specific suggestion on rebalancing my technology portfolio. Excellent. Give us a couple of days to work on that and I'll get back to you shortly. Well, coming back to your home, the good news is we have a great deal for a mortgage package and it's probably one of the best in town. I've taken the liberty to get you pre-qualified. Since you only need 20% of down payment, mm. well, I suggest you to use your existing 450000 towards the down payment. Are you planning to sell your current home? Yes, I do. In that case, please keep in mind you already have 550000 in equity. So when you sell your current home, this amount will be converted into cash. Good thinking. It seems like you've got everything figured out for me. Well, George, actually we got this figured out together. Shall we start with some documentations? Absolutely.